Hey guys, Bart from TST Industries here. Today we're going to make a video showing you how to install this Halo 1 signaling system on a 2013 and up Honda CBR 600RR. These signals come in a choice of clear or smoke blends with a number of choices for the glow color. So let's begin with the installation. So in the first step, we will need to uninstall this panel here. To do that, we will need to take out these five fasteners. So let's start doing that. So in the following step, we will be removing the two rivet type fasteners in uh, this location here. These need to be backed out first with a Phillips screwdriver and then grab it and pull it out. And move on to the next one. So the two remaining rivet fasteners that need to be pulled out are one's right here and one is right here. Okay. All right. So now we will need to clear the friction fastener that's behind the panel here. To do that, we will pull this away from the bike while pressing this portion down. And now we can just work the fairing out of its keepers on the other fairings. And now we will slide this entire fairing panel back along this axis. There are two clips in here that slide in this way to lock. So we will need to unlock them in the reverse fashion. And now the fairing's free to come off. You need to disconnect the signal plug here. So just to reiterate what we just did, these clips here, here and here, needed to be cleared out of their keepers in the mating geometry. And the friction fastener that's behind the panel here, this is it, it needed to be pulled straight out. So now we will be removing the actual signal light from the fairing. To do that, we will need to undo this 10 millimeter nut here. And now we can just withdraw the signal. On the inside we will need to make sure that the signal wire fits through. And just take it out. Now we will need to remove the washer portion here and uh, also the rubber isolator. This just pulls out. All right, once you've done that, you are ready to install your Halo 1 signaling system on this side of the bike. So now we will need to take the right side Halo, put it into the fairing well. Of the hardware kit that came with the signals. We will take one washer and one screw. Go over to the other side here and place the washer down and start the screw out by hand. All right. We'll now give screw about a turn and a half and just check the other side to ensure everything's seated properly here and it looks like we've done that well. We'll now bottom out the screw. Now important thing to note here is that the screw doesn't need to be tightened very much. The screw is meant more for positioning of the halo signal within the well um, 
the, the signal itself, the geometry of the signal itself holds the signal in place. This just locks it into that position. So now we can start reassembling everything on the bike. We'll first plug the signal in. So you can see this is plug and play. Before we proceed with the reassembly, we'll check and make sure everything's running properly. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's start reassembling the bike in the reverse order of this assembly. All right, so the procedure to reinstall this uh, fairing panel in the bike is to first get this portion aligned in here. And then align these three clips here that I showed you in an earlier scene with their captive geometry. Once you align that, you could slide it forward along the axis that I showed you in an earlier scene. And then just follow through with clipping in that friction fastener. And the last portion here in the bottom, make sure it all slides together. There's a tab right here that needs to go in the lower fairing. And another tab here that needs to slide in on this axis. Be gentle with it. Once everything's aligned like this, you can reassemble uh, the fasteners in the reverse order of disassembly and move on to the other side. Repeat the same procedure on the other side of the bike and then you're ready to ride.